What's up everyone, welcome back to another video with me. Today is Tuesday, I'm actually gonna go to Two Flea Markets today. I'm going to the Oakland Coliseum right now and after I'll be heading over to the San Jose Capital Flea Market. I'm gonna see what I can find on the week of Christmas. Hopefully there's gonna be vendors out there and very few buyers, very less competition. And let's see what we'll get. All right, I'm here with one of my buddies. He told me he has some things he wants to show me. So I'm gonna see what, what it is. I wonder what they are. Ooh, this is Heidi Douse. Oh, it is, how did I know? Oh, these are nice. Here's a second box. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's felt pearl. Real, real, that'd be cool. Ooh, look at that one. It's costume. I like your camera. Oh, thank you, thank you. What is that for? <laughs> I'm, I'm just uh, re recording videos of stuff oh, that I'm buying. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's like a little mini camera that I carry around. Oh, that's good. Good idea. I like that it has the earrings. And it's stamped right there. It's upside down, but still a really, really good set. Ooh, look at this one. It's a, it's a necklace. I thought it was a bracelet. I thought it was a bracelet and, and a necklace, but it's still super nice. I sell a lot of Heidi Dows whenever I get any. I like the I like their designs. And the final box looks like ivory, but it's not. Oh, if it was ivory, that'd be a super nice piece. But you can't sell ivory. In California. Well, I don't know where else you can sell. Maybe you can sell somewhere else. I'm not too sure, but I know here it's illegal. But look at it. It's not one, not one of the rhinestones are missing. With the box. Gonna see what else is in here. Oh, there's more how you go. Oh, it's kind of funny. Check these out. They're all the same style, just different colors. All kind of flame. Oh, these are nice. What's this one? Is this kind of flame too? Oh, this is, uh, oh, Joanne Rivers. It looks like kind of flame. It's like the same style. I don't see. How much is the GoPro? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you are you? Money, you I have the drone by dismissing the no, no, camera. No. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the thing is I know who this is. This is Lisa Jenkins. I've been pretty lucky. I've been finding a lot of um, this designer's jewelry the past couple of months. I think it's a necklace. Yeah, it is a necklace. Necklace with a a lock pendant on it. I know it's signed somewhere. I think it's signed right here. Oh, there we go. She's Jenks. It's pretty heavy too. Well over 50 grams. And I, I, I love the style of it too. Let's see how much he wants for that one. Alright, so he told me there's more stuff back here he's going to take out, but he's letting me look first. That's a nice piece. What is that? What does that say? Oh, it's a Mexican piece. That's very beautiful. Wow. Let's see how much he wants for that. 
Is he is he gonna say 20 bucks? Is he gonna say 50? Is he gonna say 100? Oh wow, look at that one. What? I've never seen one like that. What? I definitely have to to ask him how much he's gonna want for this one. And it's signed. A signed piece. That is beautiful. And it's heavy. Nice chunk of silver. You can really hit someone with this. Super heavy. Everyone wants to. Everyone's kind of right behind me trying to see what I'm looking at, but I get first dibs. I don't. I, that was silver, but I don't know if it's real. That's what it will be here, but it's silver. I know I found one that looks just. Uh, that said Tiffany too at a thrift store. It was silver, but it wasn't Tiffany. <laughs> no, but this is silver. So after buying so much Tiffany, you, like they do make fake Tiffany and sterling silver to sell it off for way more. But this, you really got to go off of your gut. If it doesn't seem right to you, don't buy it. Or if it looks legit, take a chance. It, it's how it's how you learn. It's, it's how I learned because I bought plenty of fake Tiffany in the past. But this is sterling silver, just the, the mark is throwing me off, so it's, I'm not gonna, not gonna get that. Look at this ring. I think that goes with the, no it doesn't. But it looks just like the bracelet. That one's nice, let's throw one aside. This one's busted, that sucks. That one goes back. Filigree that could be ivory, it just could be bone. Most likely, it's a um, 800 uh, coin silver. They usually made those in that style. Let's see what else is here. Oh, look, so I just pulled out this piece. So I'm trying to see. Put it right here. I think it's a Mexican piece, and it's it's really heavy. It's it should be signed right here. It's kind of hard to see, but I think it says Alba Alberto or something. It's, it's definitely it definitely like a, my gut feeling is it's a Mexican piece, and it's very beautiful. I like the way it's made. I'm gonna see how much for that. Definitely gonna spend a pretty penny today, but I, I, I know what I can sell, what I can resell pieces for, so I wouldn't have a problem paying up for a couple of pieces. Look at the watch band. Sterling, turquoise, red coral. It's probably gold. It's sterling, but it's, it's just gold plated or gold, uh, over the top. I like looking for signed pieces. I like finding the history in a lot of pieces. And this one is signed, so I'll probably just uh, take off the watch and, and sell the band itself. If, uh, if I like the price, I'll buy it. If I, if I can work with it. It's another, most likely, Navajo. HT Sterling. It's a nice band. Another small one. I don't like buying small ones. They're very, they're very hard to sell for me, even if they're signed. I bought, I, I bought so many. It just, like, they just sit there. I do very terrible with those. I, uh, nothing else I see here that I like. I'm gonna see what's here. I just see my money, my wallet getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> w. Tracy Sterling. It's a nice dome pendant, hand stamped. That's a good one, right? That's it. That's a good. I like that. One. Simple, but still, I, I like simple stuff too. This one, this one looks familiar. Oh, it's missing a stone. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything with that. 
unfortunately. Let's see what else catches my, my attention in here. Okay, here's something else that I that I like. Even though the turquoise is in rough condition, it's still still a pretty good ring. Very old. I want to see how much it wants for it. Maybe we work something on that one. I just have to fix this part, make it round again. So here it is. I, I like this. I like the way they made this ring. It's a very nice ring. It's signed Sterling L.Y. It's, it takes a very long time to look up who, who made these. A lot of times I can't find them. But um, on Google, like I'll spend 30 minutes to an hour or longer just trying to find who who made this, who made the the pieces. So uh, for the most part, when they're signed, it's always a little bit more. I look up the history of who who made it, where did, where did they make it, how long they've been uh, making jewelry. So that one is uh, definitely I'm gonna grab that. One. All right, I'm just gonna see what else he takes out. I'm gonna set these aside and get a price. All sterling silver. Let's see what else I can get besides what he set aside for me. You can sell just about any piece of silver. You just really gotta really know what you want to invest in to have or to uh, resell. That's interesting. Oh, this is Oz, Oz William Spratling and it's busted, but it's just this used to be a screw back earring, and it's just one that's very unfortunate. It's a very good, uh, it's a very good designer. It's very unfortunate that it's not even there. Damn, all right, that sucks. That sucks. It's a nice art deco bracelet. Estos están un poquito más caros, ¿eh? Ya viste que son más... 40 se dan aquí para esta. Ok, 40, 40 each. I might just put that down. ¿160? Ok. Ok. You can do $30 each. Yeah. Okay, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these Kenneth Lane mm -hmm. brooches. Yeah. And how much did you want for each one? Uh, $30 each. $30 each, okay. Yeah. 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 We're at 340. Yeah. Okay. And for Are these. Are these earrings? 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll do 10 bucks on this. Okay. Okay. It gets more expensive now. Yeah. <laughs> or too cheap. 175. How about 75 dollars? 180. Okay. I'll do one. Uh, I can do 175. Okay. Okay. 75 for the Lisa Jenks. Uh, Lisa Jenkins, a uh, hundred bucks. hundred bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, we're at 525. Okay. This is a Mexican bracelet. It's not a Sunni. But even like that, I want to get at least 175. Okay. For that one. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, this one. That's 40 for this one? 40? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Okay. Okay. Plus 40. Okay, what's next? Okay, uh, the ring. 
Okay, this one is a sterling silver so far. Uh, what about 55? Okay, 55. This pendant, 15? Yeah, that's right. Okay. This ring, uh -huh. I do 20. 20, okay. I, I like that. I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Uh, this one I will give you to you for thirty five. Okay. Okay. Look. Yeah. Oh, excellent. This one. Oh, it's, 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 it's. This one. Um, I wanna get three hundred dollar at least. Three hundred. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Too. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give you 300 for that one. Okay. There you go. Here's okay. All the money. Let me count it. It's a pretty good condition. I've never seen high heel ones before. That's a first for me. Okay, let me see how much it she wants. How much for the boots? Two dollars. Okay. Two dollars. Can't say no to that. So just when I was about to leave, I spot this. Um, vintage changing bag magic trick. I think it's Pietri Lewis company. It does, it's very, it's very old for sure. It feels heavy. I'm gonna just grab it and see what kind of price um, the vendor's gonna want. She's, she's screaming a dollar, two dollars on each piece. So I, I think I'm able to, even I'll pay two bucks for two or more if she's gonna ask for more. But let's see what she's gonna say. Aquí tengo un par de zapatos. Y tengo esto. Déjame darte esta bolsita. Okay. Mara de tres. Tres, okay. Okay. All right, guys. So I spent most of my, well, pretty much all of my money, um, just with that that vendor. And I just had a few bucks left just to buy those shoes and uh, that magician stick thing. So I'm actually gonna head on out because I'm so I don't have any more cash. If people don't do Venmo here or Zelle, <laughs> just cash. Uh, gonna head to the bank. Gonna go over to San Jose and see what I can get there. Uh, hopefully, there's still a few things left over. It's it's not too late still, but. Uh, the line's a bit short today. Uh, usually there's like 20 people this early, but I guess because it's close to Christmas. Silver everywhere. Pocket knife. No se ve nada. It's a cold duck buckle. Silver coin. She 
eso. No, es que ya lo compraron. Ah, ya. So I'm going to buy all these coins, all these silver coins, all the stone and silver. Mm -hmm. Some other coins here, I'm going to get a ton of this. Ah. Okay. Okay, I have 152 plus uh, 35. Yeah, 20. And how much will it be for the money? Pues está 8, pero este sí quiero 30. 8, ok. 8, 30, 225, 225. ¿Qué es lo que él quiere? Que dice, porque quiere 10 dólares, que me dice ni qué es, ni qué es. Ah, de... Ok. Ajá. ¿Cuánto entonces me cobra? Ah, 225. Ajá, ah, ok. Sí. Ajá. Gracias, María. Sí, gracias a ti, Ivonne. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and voice over this because I literally did not even think about removing my mask and I'm just mumbling throughout this the end of the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be uploading more possibly after Christmas. Um, hopefully it doesn't get too slow after Christmas. I'm going to go picking and I do plan on buying a storage uh, sometime next week if I can get one for a good price. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos because I will be uploading more videos. I'm going to try doing a, a weekly thing, maybe one or two videos uh, every week or, or more if, if I can. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope everyone has a great Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Thank you for watching.